Welcome back to Open Campus Creative Writing. I'm Mr. Hertzai. And I'm Ms. Myers. Welcome to semester two, part two of this course, where especially if you are a short story writer, you're going to get to exercise the short story chops. Now, we're still in poetry to kind of start this course, uh, but it's going to move rapidly on away from that as we talk, as we uh, begin to navigate. So this section only is our last module on poetry. It's a continuation from the last module. Um, and so if you have not, you want to make sure, as I said before, that you kept all your other writings, because those of you taking part two will have a final portfolio that you need to submit near the end of the course. Let's hop over and take a look at what we need to be doing here. Miss Myers, take it away. Okay, so just as you guys did last semester, um, you'll have to take part in the Creative Writing Cafe for this portion of the class. So it's the same thing. You're going to need to share one piece of writing. It can be an original poem or short story that you're writing on your own or um, something inspirational that you found or something that you just thought was really well written and you want to share with your peers. And then you are required to reply to at least two of your peers and their writing. You can give them feedback, tell them what you liked, what they could improve or if it's something that wasn't original, something that they just shared, you could mention also seeing it or um, how it made you feel as well. Yeah, absolutely. For example, I'm thinking of the poet who spoke at the inauguration last week. Perfect thing to kind of respond and post in here and say how inspiring it was or how, how, how you admired her poise or the way she delivered or memorized the length of poem that she wrote. Uh, but again, it doesn't have to be something you wrote. It can be something like that it would be... Uh, would be just as fine. All right, so let's hop over to where we're at today. And that is, uh, by the end, uh, we're gonna be messing a little bit. We're still in poetry, as I said, and still in formal poetry. And you'll see that for this first week um, is we're gonna be playing with line breaks in poetry. Poetry, you can have fun and change the way a poem feels by altering its line breaks. That's what we're kind of exploring in this. And this lesson is due by the end of this week, January 30th, um, is, is due by then, which I believe is Saturday night. And then we're going to be heading into later on, and we'll remind you this next week, um, five more types of formal poems. So we're still in formal poetry a little bit. And then we're going to do a formal poetry workshop. And I think we need to alter the names. Yeah, we didn't alter the names. Need to create names. So maybe that's something we can put on our list, alter the names. Uh, of the people that's in. And we might wait to do this till we see everyone that's in the course because we've had some people that have dropped the course, people that aren't doing part two of the course. Um, so my guess is it's just going to be one workshop because I think there's only about six or seven of you signed up for part two of the course. Um, and then this workshop's just going to work like normal, but we don't need to worry about that yet. We have some time till that. You, what you need to worry about is line breaks from poetry. And again, as we said before, you want to try to adhere to this January 30th deadline. Those of you that say, oh, I'll get to it later, never get to it. And we found some people that got themselves in trouble last marking period because of that. But this is a fresh marking period. You're starting fresh and it's fresh semester. And I'm sure that you can make this work. So is there anything else that I need to say, Ms. Myers, or do we, did we hit everything we need to? I think we hit everything. Uh, again, if you haven't signed up for a mind, um, well, actually, don't worry about Remind. Because there's only seven of you, we might want to develop a new Remind because I'm using that Remind for the first okay. other man. Because don't sign up for Remind because uh, we'll give you a different Remind or we'll just use the Moodle system. You can always email us at scott.hertzog at penmatter.net or Callie Myers at penmatter.net. That's K-A-L-I dot M-Y-E-R-S at penmatter.net. All right, happy writing.